Uh, so let's kind of dive deeper into the controllers, uh, what make them unique uh, for the drone industry. Uh, is there anything that really stands out that would maybe be not so typical for someone else flying a, another product, uh, either a parrot product or something else? Um, people very like the form factor of this controller and the way it stands um, mm -hmm. and, and how you can actually pilot. It's, it's pretty rugged. Uh, it's IP53. Um, so it's, it's really... Uh, a controller that has been made to be on the ground. Um, you're going to be able to stream videos with an AirG45 cable, which is different from the HDMI, but basically you're going to be able to stream the video feed directly to your computer with this cable. So something people may not be used to, but something that works very well. Yes. Um, in the controller, in the Sky Controller USA, we have an Android tablet, which means that you can download and run apps easily from the Google Play Store. Mm. Um, uh, an example would be if you want to do mapping missions with this product, you would download Pix4D Capture in order to, to, to plan for your flight plan. Um, easy to do, go on Google Play, download it, you go, you're good to go. Um, we have a very strong focus on making our products compatible with other software solutions through our SDK. Um, and so we have a bunch of softwares that work with this platform, and so, again, easy to download right on the screen, right on the tablet directly here. Does, does the controller limit you for what you can download onto it? Can you download a bunch of stuff that's unnecessary and not compatible to the drone, or does it limit it to like a marketplace? So, you could download, I mean, it's, it's up to the user. If you mm. want it to be secured, we have a way to just lock it down completely, and we've done that for some users, especially the army. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if, if you want it to be open, we can open it. It's basically just l loading a, a secure profile on the tablet and locking it in or not. Yeah, so you can, you can basically use it as a tablet if you were inclined, because the reason I ask this is there's uh, a large competitor in the drone space that when they have built-in tablets, it's difficult to put even third-party apps on those. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just making sure that I understand how open, how easy it is. Right now, as it stands, it's easy and you can actually load the apps. Mm. Uh, if some customers have requirements to lock them completely for their fleet, yeah. this is something we can do. How often are people using the stylus? Um, it's pretty convenient, in fact. Uh, I do use it. Uh, mm. For some, for example, when you're playing with the blending, um, you're playing with the blending directly on the live video feed yeah. and so you have a cursor that you can move up and down and it, it's just it just makes things pretty pretty easy and very very precise right yeah so we've 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 we've, we've put this i mean as an option people. yeah perfect yeah. And, and then the other controller the sky controller 3 as being uh, a bring your own device type thing uh is it ios and and uh android compatible yes ios and android compatible in uh, how you see it here is basically where you would actually load a smartphone on the top. We mm. also have an accessory that comes in the pack where you can put a tablet on top. So you, you, you easily can fit uh, both. Um, it's a controller we've been, we've been using. It's a simple controller, but it's working very good. In fact, uh, yeah, it's a controller that is very, very uh, known in the market. Um, so it's, it's an easier configuration and cheaper configuration for people that want to use NFE USA and don't necessarily need a blue SUA. 